Hello everyone, my name is Maple Blossom and I welcome you back to this 20th episode of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke Let's Play. Damn, 20 episodes, we are entering the 5th week of episodes. Like, I have never done anything for this long of a time consistency before. But yeah, last time it went a bit wanky. In the end, I decided to cut out some stuff that will be shown just about now. Oh, this part. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> the episode is running out and I started this. Hmm, I can smell it. I can smell it right here. The scent of adventure. This is definitely one. It's gotta be a secret spot. There'll be enough space here to build a crazy super place. Or my name's not Aru. Oh, this is gonna take time. Okay, you know this episode is gonna be a bit long from here on out. <laughs> you, my junk Pokemon trainer, what can I do for you? Hmm? Huh? What do you mean? You didn't ask for anything. Bet your heart did. No, no, no need to be shy. After all, we managed to meet. The name's Aru. Puzzle there. A Nova born and 25 years old spent the last 11 years trying to find myself. Just a vagabond in search of dreams. I'm wandering around Hoenn, trying to find a place where I really belong. That's right, a super secret base! You don't know about super secret bases? What kind of life is that? Too sad, little bro. Time for a little lecture from Uncle Aru. Uh, let's start with the secret base, yes, which is Adventure Romance. Awesome. For real, it's the best place ever to chill. You, your pals, that you let hang out. Since you got this hand, you ought to learn how to make one. Take this. Secret power. Secret power can help you find the entrance to hidden places. These entrances, they're full of adventure, right? That's why I like to throw some spies in there and call them secret spots. Let this see. This right here is a secret spot. Doesn't it look like you could just climb up right in this tree? This is exactly the kind of place to bust out the secret powder. Boom! He made a hole in the tree. Oh yeah! I never get tired of that. And that's all there is to finding secret spots and creating the entrance to a secret base. This move is crucial to having a secret base. Don't forget how. Uh, this day time. <laughs> Not a bad layout. See, behind each secret spot you'll find a space like this, and they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So basically, whenever you find a secret spot, you ought to at least check it out with secret power. Just think, someday this place could be somebody's secret base, all decorated and filled with goods and friends. I'd really love to see it like that. Wait a second, but who in the world are you? Oh, right, Nick. Sorry about it. Uh, so then, Nick, how about I give you one more tip? When you feel happy about something, you ought to express that feeling. Put in words. I'll cheer everybody up. So how about you tell me, huh? Come on, tell Uncle Aru what to say when you're totally free. Not something like this. Oh, Jay, no. Uh, Uh, it's not really something I say myself, but uh, it's a bit Swedish and not English, I guess, so... Gippy! It's something that younger Swedish children like say when they are happy. Gippy! I'm so happy! Whistle! I don't know if that will be hearable. Gippy! That's good! No, why I asked you that isn't over. It's because I can already see that there's plenty in our future to feel happy about. That's just how we roll in Secret Base. Every day is full of happy adventures. Oh yeah! Now, I could go ahead and make a Secret Base right here, but I get a feeling that this layout could be even better for you, little bro. Guess I'm gonna leave this part for you. Plum, plum, plum. 
Yes, it will be your secret base from now on, little pal. It's yours now, so decorate it, destroy it, do whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat, right? Oh, damn. And then some things are happening. Uh, Alright, you see in decorations you will get the centerpiece in your city and automatically place them around and line up your base a bit. Uh, but this takes so long, much time. And that's there's a PC. That's where you find your decoration. Not that you probably have much right here. I give you these to get you started. Decorations, yeah. Oh, why? One last thing. You can do more than make your own secret. You can visit other people's bases for a bit of fun. If you find a base that belongs to someone else, check it out. And here's the real part. When you check out some base, collect the flag you find next to the PC. <laughs> Something good might come out of it. Looks like it's about time for me to hit the road in search of my perfect base. Goodbye for now, but hopefully I'll see you again, Nick. If you need me for anything, try dropping in at the secret base guild in Fortress. Oh, sorry. Accidentally hit the mic. Uh, secret base. So, now we're back. And yeah, the last thing was recorded technically a few hours ago, but it was a bit of a cut and mess and everything like that, but... Yeah, uh, we got a secret base from Arun. Sorry. I probably cut it out, so the story doesn't matter to you, but... Uh, yeah, secret base, it was... I really enjoyed it when I was young and got Sapphire for the first time. But for a let's play, I don't think it's that interesting. Make a comment what you feel about secret bases. Is it something you did... Uh, back in the day, now with the remakes, did you find it fun? Did you find it boring? Oh, yo, 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 A bit of alarm going off there, so professional that I forget to uh, take the alarm off. Oh, right, it was Prospect that was cut. I missed you, Prospect. Uh, but yeah, if you will comment what you feel about secret bases. Um, they're kind of fun, but for a uh, let's play, I don't think it's worth it, so that's why I'm not doing it. Uh, I think we can train some more if the game is the same as back in 2003, I think. Then there should be an old lady that heals your Pokemon for you on this route. So, uh, I think we can push a bit further before uh, healing. Nostalgia is soon level 17. Shadow will have to go out though because Nostalgia is not feeling well right now. But yeah, uh, through the power of editing, you didn't suspect anything <laughs> in the beginning of this episode. I hope not. But yeah. And I hope I don't make any mistakes right now, because this is the Monday uh, episode. But the thing is that I have practically stuff to do all the way up until I need to upload, so I don't have time to make the episode on Monday. So I have to record beforehand, and I'm more well... You are a uh, not nice little girl. A mobile is part steel type. So I don't think Audrey or Trudy or Tammy are that good, so... And Mark, like the Nostalgia could have fought uh, this mobile if she wasn't hurt and was a bit higher level. Ow. Don't hurt and mark. Oh, wrong attack. I was supposed to take one of the ground types. Uh like, I have a problem with the sound. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, it seems to be going up and down. Some uh, recordings it's uh, loud and some recordings it's not. I don't know why. <laughs> So, fairy tale girl out of the way, they 
I don't know if they are designed to be creepy, but they are kind of creepy. I would say more creepy than the hex girls they are paired up with. Hex maniacs or whatever you say. No items. And that plinging noise that always happens. It's so similar to the noises on my phone. So I get distracted every time it happens. More berries, nanab, and roastberry. Like, I have no idea about berries. Like, I am a long time Pokemon fan, but uh, I have never, like, I'm not an energy walking encyclopedia. You probably noticed in the last episode how I was using my triple screens to. Uh, Oh dear me, aren't you and your Pokemon exhausted? You ought to stop and rest a bit there. Yes, indeed, that's actually exactly what you should do. So, let's see. This is at least the same as back in the day. It's a free heal place. And it's kind of... Understandable. The Fairy Path, Route 11, 12 South. Fairy Path, Route 12 North. It's quite a bit to go through. Missed! <laughs> Smash right into the wall. So now we're up here. Avoid the backpacker to get the item, but we will fight the backpacker because usually, uh, uh, I never skip trainers. Basically, it's just uh, only if I'm like really low on health. Or something like that, and I feel it's dangerous. Ooh, 21. Um, let's see if Tammy can handle it. I, I really like Tammy. I have never paid one cent to Gulpins and Swallows before, but Tammy is becoming a real member of the team. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, quite normal amount of damage. Just this is the problem, like if it was Sleep Powder or Sing, I would immediately like, oh, put them to sleep. But because it's Yawn... Ah, stop it! What is it doing? Oh, the damage. I would have immediately put it to sleep, but as uh, John takes a turn to do it, the meaning I will take two hits of damage before it falls asleep, it's like become, can I kill it within those two hits? Because then it, I will take the same amount of damage, uh, but still uh, win for less moves, you could say. There's a Linoon gone. Sadly, Karma is in the PC right now. As I figured, I was going to send Trudy away because Trudy isn't as good as Ordru right now. And probably never will be. Uh, and uh, we get a free heal. <laughs> you can abuse this. I really. When there are things in games where you can abuse it, you could say, if you say it in a bad way, you could say just ex... Not export, why did I say export? Like, but uh, use it to your advantage, then do it. Like, game companies with live games, not like old Pokemon. I don't know if they could. What is that flag? Is it uh, points out that I have my base? Yeah. Just had to check what that was all about. Uh, so, yeah, you use it. I don't like companies that have live games that they can continually update. And some companies, like, as soon as they see a YouTuber or anyone else, like, oh, 
and explain you can do this to get some resources or whatever it is you do in the game you can and it's a bit of an easy way but not really cheating at the same time and they immediately like smack it down nerf it uh, destroys it like takes it away immediately as soon as especially youtubers and other that cover stuff for the game finds it they take it down and that's like to me ah why do you do it uh, because that's really stupid and it shows that you don't really care about your gamers I have a game that's why I had an alarm because that game is uh, it's a free online game so it has a few mechanics that are real time based and the real time is like really short and it was bad to begin with but this day Sunday this Monday today but the Sunday that I did this like record this they nerfed the only thing that made it playable for someone like me that has studies and most people are like me that they have either studies or work to do uh, the only way I could play it was to abuse a little bit of fact to have a windows window open or an internet window open all the time but now I can't I need to be online exactly every half hour and they have a pay to win pvp system and i'm not the absolutely most most competitive person in the world but after having been top 10 in sweden and top 500 maybe even top 400 in the world in this game uh, while playing it for free to have to change it to become a pvp system where it's pay to win and you call like I did the math and you can't even get close to the top leagues with free play anymore. It just shows they don't care. But here's May, our favorite. As long as her second personality, the Reaper, doesn't come out. Hi! The road here was pretty long, huh? I got time enough to have to take a little break. Ah, we did too. Your Pokemon look pretty tired themselves. Let me take care of them. <laughs> this is one of the parts I don't like about the latest Pokemon games. There, that's all better. I'm on my... <laughs> oh, my voice. I'm on my way to pay a visit to Professor Cosmo. He's famous for his research on meteorites. He was working on a project with my dad. I mean, Professor Bird on how meteorites might affect Pokemon. Enough dawdling, I think it's too much for you to follow more. Let's give it one last push. Like, this is one of the things I don't like about Pokemon games, like, because Pokemon games, I know they are made with the to a target audience of, ah, uh, the Ash. This is not snow people, do not be Alarm, or maybe you should be alarmed because this is ash. And if it rains ash like this, it's really bad. Is that a spin there? Ah, okay. But yeah, this is what I don't like about the newest Pokemon games is that uh, they have made so many points in the game where you get a free heal of your team. That is. Like, they are easy, they are supposed to be for 10 years old and around that area, so as a 20 year old like me, you can't suspect it to be that challenging. But still, it was easy enough as it was, the healing that are now, like, there was a house just over here where we healed. And you, after that house you fight zero, one or two trainers before arriving and meeting May here. To have a heal from May at this point is completely useless. I could to a point understand it if May would have challenged me to combat and she healed me up beforehand to make it a uh, even match. 
Maybe, but just to have Mader talk a little bit and heal you when you have a heal, free heal, uh, endless heal, just a few uh, clicks away. So completely unnecessary, but uh, it's still like it takes time away from the game and it's not this time. I feel that so many free heals are destroying, or not destroying, but it's making the game too easy. Sun and Moon had that problem that there was too much heals, in my opinion. Free heals all the time, like... It was never a challenge, because every time you went to an area and, oh, suddenly you're jumped by a trainer that is uh, in a video cinematic, and uh, so you can't skip it. That trainer himself would like, oh, I healed you before we fight. So it was never a challenge, because your team would always almost always be uh, at full health uh, no crit oh I took a risk <laughs> I talk all the time about how I should stop taking risks uh, well Unless Spinda, okay, I'm gonna switch because if Spinda attacks, flees from the ball and attacks, Nostalgia is dead. Uh, but the problem is that burn might kill the Spinda. Oh, perfect! We have one shot because this is uh, and this is a pretty decent shot, but I'm actually gonna use just the Pokeball. Because a status effect, condition effect, whatever you want to say, uh, is good. It weakens the Pokemon and increases the catch rate. But the only one you really want to use is Sleep or Paralyze. Because Burn and Poison take health away from the Pokemon you're trying to capture. <laughs> and it can go bad. Oh no, I uh, forgot to read. I'm sorry, forgive me. No. But uh, a Spinda. We, I at least don't really care about the Spinda. It's uh, once again a normal type and we already have two or had, we had three that we are already switching out because three normal types on a team isn't good. So to now get uh, a fourth one. Ah, it won't matter, but as I've been giving uh, Anne Mark two Pokemon now, named after her, I will give this name to another really friendly person I know that is on the same level as Anne Mark in like friendship. You can say how much I care about them. Uh, and like a little bit, a teddy bear, ditzy, all all over the place, happy, but <laughs> kind of childish looking. Eh, it fits him. It really does. But I've, I see that it's a bit sad we don't get uh, the ashes. Because in the past you could collect the ashes and... You would see... Uh, the ash disappear from the grass. And there's a Skarmory. The second type of Pokemon we could have gotten on this route. But like this. Normal it was uh, hurt bad. I just have to buy back here and I have a free heal. May didn't need to heal me. To me... Uh, the free... The two most boring parts about three most boring parts about Pokemon games nowadays that, in my opinion, is kind of ruining the games are uh, how you get so many free heals because that even lowers the difficulty of the game even more. And I would say that if children could play the old Pokemon games back in the 90s and early zero zeros. Uh, the early millennia 
they shouldn't have a problem playing the Pokemon game right now because children are, what I know, smarter nowadays than they are back in the day or they are at least many times more, uh, know a lot more about technology and games. So to make the games easier while the children are more and more used to games, even at early ages, uh, seems a bit weird for me, like they don't need it to be easier. Oh! No, 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 no. We should. That didn't lower our speed, so Nostalgia should be able to take that on her own. A crit, always nice, didn't need it, but still. Uh, and Electric. It could speed. But at the same, a quick attack, yeah, but I, it shouldn't do m t more like 24. Magnitude 9, oh my god, oh, hold on to your horses, it's shaking. But yeah, uh, the three things are too, man too much heals at moments where the game could become a bit challenging, but the heals uh, rest destroys that. Two, in my opinion, bad way blocks. Like in the past, you had HMs that usually blocked the way for you or something else. Uh, just a story that, oh, we're having a battle on this route, so you can't pass. While in Sun and Moon, they were just simple gate fences. Like, it's so boring. Do they don't not have any... Uh, what do you call it? Imagination. And it was one part where there was a fence and immediately after that fence was an area where you needed a ride Pokemon. But the fence wouldn't open until after you got the ride Pokemon. So for me, that's just stupid because they could have just removed the fence and have it so that because the area where you need a ride Pokemon would block you before you get that ride Pokemon. Uh, and that would like, then it would act as a natural stop because you don't have the means to traverse that terrain instead of a stupid fence. And the other thing is a bit too much of a streamline for me, you can't like... That's good that it's a counter remake coming, but you, in the past you could go through counter, you could take so many different routes and the gyms in different order, but you can't a rally nowadays in the new games. It's so streamlined where you are supposed to go, at least in Sun and Moon. But I'm a bit sad. Uh, ah, we can try. I think this is a ninja. Kid? Oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I hope your ears are okay because that noise wasn't nice on the recording. Hmm, you, he was nothing. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit of my bad. Uh, we shouldn't ruin the last few seconds of the episode with talk like that. So run away, hopefully. No, because Nostalgia is an extremely slow Pokemon. I don't... Uh, I was about to say I don't want to go back and heal again because Nostalgia takes unnecessary damage. A registering item, but yeah, that's it. It's the 20th episode. We are into our fifth week of uploads leading up to the Pokemon Let's Go releases. I hope you all had a really wonderful time. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps me out. In the comments I asked questions earlier about secret bases and now in the end I talked a bit about what I feel is going wrong with the Pokemon game. If I remember I'll talk about things that I feel are still really good or ha are new in the games that are really good in the next episode. But comment around, I always lo love to talk to you guys. And if you want to get notified about my next video, if you like it that much, hit the subscribe button, the big red delicious red button be below this video and i hope you all have a nice evening and i will see you in the next video bye bye